All right, friends, today we are going to be working on our painting skills and we are going to finish our owl drawing with some paint. Now, if you get your owl back and you need to add a little bit of crayon before you start painting, I advise you to do that. So look at your owl drawing when you get it back, check and make sure that you've colored in the eyes, okay? And also check and make sure you've colored in the area around the eyes. And typically owls had yellow or orange-ish eyes. So the area around the eyes and the black of the eye, as well as the beak and the claws. So eyes, beak, claws. Then make sure that you have your branch with crayon colored with crayon and the leaves colored with crayon. Now, a little secret that I showed you guys was in the background with a white crayon, you could make some of those stars or shapes or lines um, for the background because once we paint, that paint um, and the crayon are gonna resist each other, very similar to oil pastels resisting each other. Okay, so there is a new set of temper cakes at your desk. There is a warm color set and a cool color set. So it's in two different sets. Cool colors are colors that maybe make us feel cold, like greens and blues and ver uh, violets and purples. And warm colors are colors that make us feel warm, like some purples, uh, reds, oranges, and yellows. So this is your little owl. Now, normally um, owls uh, blend in with their environment. They might be brown or black or have a little bit of white depending on where they live. Your owl can be any color you want. So let's start painting. I'm gonna show you, even though it can be any color you want, I'm gonna show you the areas that need to have a certain color in them. The head needs to have one color. The body needs to have one color, and the wings need to have one color. They can be any color, but they need to be all one color within this area. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start in my owl's head right in here, and I really like this orange color. So to wake up a color, you get your brush, make sure there's water on it, and you're gonna gently swirl your brush in a circle. Okay, your brush is a ballerina and ballerinas dance on their tippy toes. So I'm swirling my brush in a circle. Um, sometimes these paints have been sleeping and they may need to be woken up quite a bit with water to get them ready. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing inside of my owl, just in the head part. Remember when we made all those sections and we separated the head and the feathers and the inside and the wings. So just within this head, I'm gonna paint it one color. So does that mean I can go and get another color for my head? No, I have to paint, and once I started painting my head orange, I have to keep painting it that color. Now the rest of my body can be a different color, but everything that deals with this top part of the head has to be one color. I don't want a rainbow head. I just want one color head. So sometimes you may have to get more water on your brush. If your brush starts to sound dry and scratchy, that means it's thirsty. And it means that you need more water and you need to wake up more paint. And we try to paint as though our brush is a ballerina. And our brush, uh, ballerinas dance on their tippy toes all along there. We're gonna work on craftsmanship today. That means we're gonna try and color inside of the lines. We're gonna paint so we don't leave any white of the paper showing through. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush off and I'm gonna find a new color. I think I wanna go for this yellow color. So carefully waking up the yellow Gently swirling my brush in a circle. Oops, this one. Until it wakes up. And I think the wings, I wanna do it yellow. 
So right in the inside, working really hard on craftsmanship and not painting outside of those lines. All righty. Next, I'm gonna paint inside of my owl. And I think I'm gonna use this purple over here. Swirling my brush around in a circle, waking up that color. Ooh, that's looking great. This part's kind of tricky because I don't want to get that color on some other things in here. Wake up some more purple. Use the very tips of my brush to get in some of these small areas. Got to work carefully. All right, now that I'm done painting my owl, I'm going to work on the background. And it's really important that your messy mat is underneath your artwork for this particular part. Okay, so my background, I'm gonna try and make it look like it's kind of like a night sky. So I'm gonna use this dark violet indigo purple color right here. And I'm gonna go all along the background and look, look what's happening with some of my crayons. It's kind of like a little magic trick. My crayons are still showing up. Look, wow, some stars in the sky. stars so I'm gonna work hard on painting all the way up to the very edges like this if your brush sounds dry and scratchy you need more paint and you might need more water so you may constantly have to go back into the water and back into that paint color Try not to get it over your owl and make sure that when you're going along the edge that you have your messy mat next to you. Alrighty, look at that. That does look like it's night. Some owls are nocturnal, meaning that they spend most of their time, most of their activity out at night. Now, not all owls are nocturnal, but most of them are. All right, let's get along the bottom in there. And what's so nice is that this, the leaves and the branches that we drew last week, if you colored them in, then you can go straight over them. Look, watch this, see? We won't mess them up at all. That's because we use Sharpie and we use crayon and crayon is made out of wax. So they're gonna resist this paint color. Okay, all the way up into the edge, like so. Making sure, double checking that you've got everything painted. Then your brush is gonna go back in the water cup and your artwork and your messy mat together, both of them together. You have to walk with them like this, like a pizza. Hold it like a pizza with your messy mat and your artwork. And you're gonna carefully take it to the drying rack. 